Hi everyone, welcome in this video on Google Meet updates for the first quarter of 2021. We have seven new updates, so let's go over them um, one by one. First update is that you will have more video feeds now. So regardless that you're using um, Meet within Gmail or the standalone app, Google opt for one UX only. So this means that on your iPhone your, or on your mobile phone, you're even um, able to see up to eight video feeds. And on um, iPads or tablets, just like on the web, you can see up to 48 different video feeds um, on your screen. So this is all an improvement. So just that you can keep track with who's in the call, who you're talking to, and see the rea reactions from everyone um, in the call. So just one aligned UX, that's the most important one to remember for this. Then moving on, the second one is that you can end the meeting for all at once. So this is um, very easy because often or sometimes people still uh, stay in the call or are muted and have no idea that the call ended. So you can just, as the organizer, end the meeting for everyone at once. And then uh, related functionality is that you can also well mute all participants at once. So um, from the fact that you are organizer of the event, you have these functionalities available to just mute everyone at once. Um, so to have more control as a host in the meeting, which is needed sometimes. Then moving on to the fourth option is that you can check your video and your device quality before you actually join a call. So let's quickly have a look. I have um, here a meeting that is starting um, early, um, later today. And here I can check my video and my own audio. So if I quickly open this tab, I know my camera is indeed off, so it seems. So I can turn it still on. Yes, please do. So now you will be able to see me. Um, and I can see here that my microphone is working or I can change the microphone as well as the speaker and I can perform a small test to hear a sound. On the left side, you see as well um, the banner indicating the audio that is available in this session. And you can just click next if you want to actually start joining the call. So that's an easy way to check before uh, the meeting is even started, whether your audio is turned off, your video is on. Um, actually, you can see it here already, like I'm, uh, on this little um, audio icon. But this is good just to do um, before you're attending a call. And then a second similar thing is that there are new options available to troubleshoot your, um, your network whenever you're in a Google call. So I opened another one as an example. Um, and if we click here on the three dots and then say troubleshooting and help, then we get this little um, information section where we have network stability information. So if everything is all right, and you can see from the duration of the call that it was all OK um, for me. You can even give feedback that it's, um, in, that it's good information, helpful or not. Um, and the system load. This is just giving you some additional information on the um, actually the effort that your device needs to organize this meet or to have this live meet session. So this is the CPU usage is actually what your device is needing, what to, what yeah what effort it's needed uh, in order to run the meeting. So you can see sometimes it's going more up. It's like it needed um, fifty percent of the effort of my device to to run this specific call. So this is very important for you to access during a call, whenever um, you see that your network is, uh, that you're losing connectivity, etc. You have a separate help section, which directs you to some Q&As as well. So all of that just to help you, the end user, um, to understand better yourself, what is it or what are the reasons that your um, session at this moment in time might um, be disrupted or might experience some issues. Then moving on to the last two updates is um, they're still, they're only announced a couple of weeks ago, so not live at the moment. I can't show you them, um, but the functionality of breakout rooms um, is already live. The fact that you can um, organize and plan them up front or set them up up front is only coming. So what we'll be able in a couple of uh, days and weeks is that from creating the calendar event, you will be able to already drag the participants into the dedicated rooms before you open the call. Uh, so this is all the preparation and administration work can be done up front. And last but not least, there are additional languages being added uh, for live captions, uh, mainly French, German, Portuguese, and Spanish, both uh, for Spain and Latin America. 
So these are all of the seven um, updates for the first quarter of the year already. I'm looking forward for the, these last two and already looking forward for the ones of Q2. Have a nice day.